All right, here we are. Um, I think this is episode 18, or maybe 17, or 19, one or the other. Uh, you do the math. Anyway, uh, the last thing I think we did that was uh, we were talking about double sticky hands, and what we were working on specifically was we did the six attacks. We had the punch, palm, hyun, lap sao, uh, pak sao, and poor jump attacks. So what I want to go over is basically the basics of that. Uh, let's break it down to uh, three. We'll do the unassisted hands. The punch, palm, and hyun. Uh, let's see what side should we be on. When we're here in double stick hands. The first attack that we were talking about was the punch. So Robert, we're here, we're rolling. We'll go a nice simple roll motion here. And then from here he punches. And then how exactly should I block that? Now, there's, you know, there's endless ways to block that technique, but for the basics, there's a set, set motion that I want you to actually practice, uh, and there's a reason for each one of these particular blocks in, in, in particular. So the first one, when you see this motion here, I'm rolling, I want to block the first motion with Tanza. Now how exactly do I block the first motion with Tanza? He punches, right, and I block the motion. There's common mistakes that happens when you do the Tanza. What's our number one rule? When we do the tanza, the tanza should already be in the center line, right? I shouldn't be here. So what happens is, assuming we're in the center line and the punch comes out, to, comes out to, uh, comes into me, what the most common mistake people do is they do what? They end up pushing the pushing the punch away. So instead of going from this motion and just turning my body here, I end up opening up my, my, my arm in this motion. So I'll demonstrate that for here. So I'm here, and then Robert punches and I end up opening up, see? Looks like, and you, it's not that you can't block that. You can actually block it that way and still get away with it. The problem is, if the person's good on the other side and he knows that you're pushing out this way, when he feels that push out this way, he'll just hun, he'll just hun around and then come, come in. And since your momentum is get, basically being pushed out with the hand out, you'll, you'll end up going that way, it's, it's natural. Remember, the main thing to remember with the hands, my hands don't do anything. If I, if I, if I keep it in the center, right here, and he ends up pun punching straight here. Look what I do. I don't even have to shift that much. Uh, from here, I go from, he punches and I just turn. I just turn my body and don't get offline. Even if he comes in close, he's coming close, 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 close. Look, if I turn, at the last second, I'll move it off. So don't be afraid of the attack. So a lot of times, the reason you push off like that, you're thinking the attack's gonna come in, I want to push, I want it to get away from me. It's safer for me for the attack to come in. It really is. Because if, if he punches here and I block him off here, guess what? He can do his next attack right away. Boom. He'll slide into his next attack. But if he punches, I want him to punch, 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 keep punching, keep punching, keep punching. There. At this point here, he's invested his whole motion here. Hard for him to counter back. If I block him off that point, right when he's invested fully in there, he's committed to that motion. By the time I block him, I can hit him already on that next attack. So don't be afraid to see the attacks come close. Safer is actually closer. Okay, if I stop it before that happens, he can jump to the next technique right away. All right. Another thing that you want to look at when you block with the tanzao, when he punches in, what happens? People end up disengaging and going on one side only. Notice I keep my, my hands even and square at this position here, right? When, when, I, when, when, I, when I go to this position here, look, I still have my connection to him all the time. This motion, see how I, my hands haven't changed? My body just shifted. My body shifts, my center stays here, and I'm in the right position for that when I apply it, okay? So the, that's probably the main things to cover regarding the punch and tanza. It is not easy block to do correctly. There a lot of time and practice is required to do this, and I, like I said, most, most of the time, you'll be pushing out the attack. That's just from my reference and from my experience from teaching, uh, that's what I've seen. The next one we'll do, uh, which one's the next one? Uh, hyun. He's here in this position. He does hyunza, right? And then how to block it. There's multiple ways to block this also. What do we have? Punch, hyun, and pop. Okay. When we do, we, there's multiple ways. Like I said, you can block. When he does hyunza, and you feel that motion turn in, he's going to try to, if he does the hyunza correctly, when he does it, when he snakes around from this motion, he's going to try to get that distance away from you. If he clears the hand, he's going to move that hand away. What you have to do is, what happens is people end up going like this. They go here and they try to get the hand. Look, see how my hand tries to go around and snake around and try to cover it. That's because, and this is a difficult part that you have to understand, is that's the hand moving by itself. See, when, his, when, he, when he moves my hand and hands, that's my hand. 
That's my hand doing everything. Notice my body has no reaction to it. I'm here, I do, and then when he pops in, I'll do some kind of jab. Great, that's great. And that's the basic way that you have to learn it in the very beginning. But the reason, when, when, I, when he moves my hand, look, when he moves my hand, notice how he already moved my body. See how my body is connected from there? And then he, I still maintain the stick from that position. Okay? If I go like this, notice, look, there's no reaction from my body because my hand's not connected to it. But when he actually turns my motion here, here, he moves my body to actually move it. So when, he's, when we're in double sticky hands here, and, he, and we go in this position here, look how my body actually moves from that position here, and then that would be my motion to jet. But look how everything moves so smoothly from that. He comes in here, jet. I'm already jet, and if I, eventually when you learn to do the block, the attack comes naturally from the second, second hand motion of that. All right? You develop, the importance of the block is once you can do the block, the block will lead to the attack. So you can't just think attack, attack, attack. Blocking actually is the key to actually developing the clear, clear line to, to attack, okay? So the main thing, one more to, to remember is, also go with the force. A lot of times people go like this, when he hums around and you try to fight it and you're like, oh, I, I jammed them up. You didn't jam yourself up. Yeah, you may jam them up, but you can't jam, you jam yourself up too. You can't do an attack from that, okay? So from here, basic hand motion, he goes here and I go here and look how my body naturally relaxes and just follows it. Boom, see, nice, nice and smooth, right? Nice and smooth. And, and also the second most common mistake is don't bring the attack into you. When you. Let's say you're able to do this part correctly, where he circles around and here, and then people, he pops and then you bring it into you. Don't collapse it. Two things wrong with that. When he goes like this, circles around, one, you're bringing the attack two into you. Two, you're jamming yourself up and breaking your own structure. So the jet saw motion from here, when I go here, is look, right here, see I already took it offline. If he wants to push further from here, push, 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 <laughs> he pushes me right into the attack. All right? Uh, what else? A palm strike. Palm strike, uh, this way, right? No, this way. No, 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 what am I doing? No, you want palm. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so from here, he palms, palm strike in. What, how, do, how do I block that again? The palm, palm strike motion, most common thing that happens with the palm strike motion is the collapse of the arms, right? And then, you know, everything that I'm saying can interrelate regarding of what the block is or what the attack is. They're all, they're all close knit to one another, okay? So from here, if he does the palm strike, what happens? When the palm strike comes in, look at how my triangle is set up. My both hands are here. But he comes in like this, and then my hand collapses in, and then I try to, I try to jet. Once you do that, you have to use muscle, you have to use technique, and basically your structure is gone at this point. Look how my structure is here. I, if, if, even if I just hold it perfectly in place right here. When he pushes in like this, right, he's cutting into it. it it's, and, and look, I want you to see it again. When he comes in, see how he compresses into, into my head. My arms actually go in. I don't go in like this, but he actually pushes into it. If I cover it, he pushes into it. He's already blocked at this point. He wants to finish off the palm strike, boom, it already covers it. I, I can do jump style, I can do anything from here. He covers it, jet. I already covered the line. See, look at the line. The line of attack is, look, if you go, look at the, he pops here, this is the line of attack. See how it's straight? If I just turn off the angle, he's already off the line. He goes straight again. He's here, I jet, he's already off the line. This is finger, unless he knows Dimak. <laughs> you should doshi shan. Sensei, hit bottom brick, huh? Pretty good, <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, um, what movie? You know? Kill Bill. What? what? Kill Bill? Van Damme. Oh, uh, Bloodsport. <laughs> Bloodsport, oh, oh Billy, wait for it. I thought you were thinking about the five fingers. No, no. Oh, huh? If you hit Sensei, hit bottom brick. Right, hit bottom brick. Health to mock! Go edit this out later. <laughs> I'm too lazy to edit it. <laughs> this, this is so good to be in here. All right, so that's it. Th th those are some of the main points. Um, s some of the main points that I want to talk about with the basic blocks of that. Uh, next episode, we'll go over our lap style, how to block lap, pock, and poor job. Okay, till then, enjoy. <laughs>